I'm actually really like obsessed with this background. I just feel like this fit is so like autumnal. I don't know. I just feel like the candle is just like a cute touch. Oh my god. Please don't tell me you can see that in the video. That is unbelievable. I told you this shade wasn't good for me and I tried to make it work. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. This is like an autumn type of makeup look. I haven't done one yet on my channel for like this autumn, so I was really excited to make this makeup look. <laughs> I absolutely love this makeup look. Let's just check that I don't have lipstick in my teeth. I absolutely love this makeup look. I love autumn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I did this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Oh yeah, and the this is the palette I used for this makeup look. It's the Morphe 25B palette, just in case you're interested. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, now we can get onto the video. So the first thing I'm doing is just putting a little bit of concealer on my eyes and then setting it down before I go in with any colour. And the palette that I'm going to be using is the Morphe 25B palette. So I'm just going to be taking the lightest shade and setting that down. even though there is some product on this already. So for the transition shade, I'm gonna take this orange color on a fluffy, fluffy? <laughs> on a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna put it everywhere. Then I'm going to take the one alongside it and I'm just going to do like the same thing but a little bit more precise. I'm basically just putting that on the outer corners and like outer half of my eye. I'm gonna go in with this really like dark burnt red shade. I'm taking more of a precise brush and I'm putting that on like the outer V of my eye. I love this color. So I'm going to take the previous brush that I used just to go over the edges a little bit because I don't want it to be too harsh. I want to blend it as much as I can. I think I'm going to add like a shimmer shade on my lid but I just don't know what one to go for. Hmm. I'm kind of like drawn to this colour the most so I think I'm going to do the gold one because I am drawn to that the most. And I always put shimmers on with my finger, I just find it easier. She's like staring at herself. How cute. She wanted to come in, but I have all these lights out. I was gonna let her just stay out, but you just wanted to come in, didn't you? You're gonna have to find somewhere to sit. I think what I'm gonna do before, before I bring you guys out is I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and I'm gonna do my mascara. And this is my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara that I always use. I tried to sniff it and I got it on my nose. Why did I even sniff it in the first place? Okay, so I've brought you guys out and I've moisturised and primed my face with the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is the Radiance one. I really like it. Um, so yeah, I've already done that. So I'm going to go straight in with 
not foundation. I'm going to go straight in with my colour corrector actually. Um, this is my Maybelline Master Camo. This is the pink one. Um, and I just like using it for underneath my eyes to be honest because lately my bags have been so bad. <laughs> like, so bad. <laughs> Sometimes my bags are just so much worse. Um, and I saw these from Maybelline and I just thought I'd give them a go. And you know what? I really like it. I think it does a good job. Then I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. This is a little bit too dark for me, I feel. Um, it oxidises. Um, that was probably too much. <laughs> um, it oxidises and... This is like, I bought a colour darker, like can you see the difference? Um, but I think like I can make it work, it's not like awful, so I do use it. It's just like, definitely not my true shade. As you can see I've already done my eyebrows, I don't know if I've mentioned that. <laughs> um, I already did my eyebrows. I didn't want to do them on camera. I definitely put too much on my hand. And every time I put too much on my hand, I'm always still like, I still want to use it because I just feel like it's a waste. But then I have like cake face. So, I got some lights. <laughs> I, um, I was finding it really hard, like with the lighting in my room, it would stop me from being able to film because like the lighting wasn't good enough and I would have like lighting on one side of my face and then no lighting on the other which obviously is no good for like beauty videos um I'm using the NARS creamy what is it um I'm using the NARS complete matte concealer um so yeah it was when I was I've been thinking about it for a while but then yesterday w was what made me get them because I was trying to film and I was having a massive like so much trouble trying to get it done and I just had to not film because of the lighting um so I was like you know what this is just ridiculous like I'm just gonna have a look online for some lighting like lighting isn't essential but it was really affecting me being able to film because my room was just being really awkward. I actually had to stop filming a lot because of it, which obviously is annoying and a problem because I don't, I can't always film. I've got foundation on my lips. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Air Brush Flawless Finish Powder. I don't know exactly what it's called. Um, so yeah, and I got some lighting because I was just like getting so annoyed about it. But yeah, so I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm actually going to use my Filmstar Bronze and Glow Charlotte Tilbury palette. Mm, I've put a lot. I just put a lot on. <laughs> Oops. I really love this palette. It's so nice. I don't know why I put this away because I need the highlight. Um, I don't know why I'm using a separate mirror either because they both have mirrors. This has a massive one, I don't need that. <laughs> um, can you see my brush? Like it is so like, I don't know what happened to it. It's like, it's a bit weird at the moment. Like. No, you won't be able to see that, I don't know. Now I'm going to use my Essence Satin Touch Blush in the colour Satin Love. So now that I've done all of my face makeup, I'm going to do my under eyes. So I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take the orange shade on a pencil brush. Then 
Then I'm going to take the colour next to the orange, it's a little bit darker. Then there's a colour underneath that one which is even darker, so I'm just going to carry on with that one as well and do that right on the inner corners of my eyes. Then I'm going to go in with my mascara and do my bottom lashes. I've got two more things to do on my eyes. I'm going to take this highlighter again and just like my pinky and I want to highlight the inner corners. You can't even see what I'm doing. Um, I'm just going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going to go with my eyeliner which is my Maybelline Must Ink, which I always use. So that's everything done except for lipstick. I'm pretty sure I'm done. I keep on thinking I've forgotten something, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. So I'm going to go in with a really dark lip. I haven't used this in so long. I don't even have a lip liner to go in with this first. So I don't know how this is going to go. But this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. I don't know how this is going to look. So that's the best I'm going to do with this lipstick, so I'm going to leave it at that. But yeah, this was the final makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I am obsessed with this type of makeup. I love, like, autumn looks. I just think they look so nice and warm. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!